eight years back, nine years back, right? Our table will always be full. Then for us, right, we are always like probably just a few tables drinking coffee. Hi, my name is Mizi. I'm the operating manager over here at the Signature Pedicery. We are located at 21 Lorong Kilat, which is somewhere near the Beauty World MRT station. We mainly sell muffins and also some of your usual cafe stuff like brunches and pastas and also specialty coffee. My brother is considered like a sales manager and for myself, I'm like uh, mainly running the operations at the cafe. Then uh, my mom and dad is the one that is always outside selling the muffins. We actually do a lot of covering up for each other. So we know how to do everything. I would say like jack of all trades. Whenever anybody, any department needs help, we will just cover up for each other. Lor. Aside from just running operations, I'm the main person doing the baking for the muffins. Okay, this business uh, is like an evolving business. So when we first started out, right, we were actually selling chocolates. So if you actually look at our signboard outside, right, it writes the signature pedicery by Chocolate World. So Chocolate World was our first business where we were selling uh, chocolates, pralines, uh, handmade dipping cookies with chocolates. Uh, after that, we realised that when it comes to selling chocolates, there are like seasons. Other than Easter, other than Christmas, nobody really gets uh, chocolates in between the seasons. La. So we decided to uh, close down the chocolate business. After we closed down the chocolate business, we moved to Manhattan House which is at Chinatown. Then we started out this uh, signature pedicery, just selling muffins only. After Chinatown, then we moved here because uh, we kind of had bigger plans. We wanted to open up a cafe and then also sell our bakes at the same time. And then at the beginning, it was quite tough for us because uh, there were not many cafes happening yet. For the first year, right, we were just selling like muffins and drinks, but we didn't want to do hot food because that wasn't like our main thing that we wanted to sell. But then, we realised that uh, in order to like survive in this like stretch and like this cafe entire car industry, right, you need to have food. Then aside from having food, you need to have good coffee. When I was uh, younger, uh, this business uh, didn't really have a lot of um, staff, so definitely I had to help out in this business, ma. Before even the cafe. I was really helping out at Manton House, selling muffins for my mom. When we come here, I help out like almost every weekend. That's when I realized that I really kind of like FMB. We still have a lot of regulars from like nine years ago who are still visiting us. Uh, there's this sort of connection with them that I really like enjoy. It's very nice to know that they still come here even though there are a lot of changes. So that's when I find like I have this passion for service where I like to uh, communicate with people. I took a diploma in food and beverage at Nanyang Poly. So that's where I also acquired more skills and I learned more about this industry. Lor. Baking was more like, so because my mom bakes ma, yeah, she bakes muffins and all that kind of thing. Yeah, I'm like, wow, like very fun. Ah. Yeah, that, just want to learn. Lor. I just keep looking at videos and like trying to see more skills. Now that I'm taking care of the pastry side, right, I get to bring in more of my creativity. When I was younger, when I helped out uh, at this shop when I was studying, it was a different thing. Now that I am like part of this, this entire thing, got my own say and my own doing for certain things. Lah. I really get to brainstorm and my mom doesn't uh, stop me. She always uh, encourage, encourages me to like try it out first. Then if uh, we try it, it's not too good. What can we improve on? What makes our muffin unique? They always tell us that our muffins are usually very soft and moist even after a few days. And uh, we do provide like a super wide range of flavours. We have flavours that really cater to like the elderly, like your almond and raisins and your cranberry. Then we have something like the young kids who likes Oreo. And then maybe something more adult is like chocolate. So we really like hit like a wide range of target audiences lah, of different ages. Aside from that, we also have like our cream cheese muffins. It's a texture and a flavour that a lot of people cannot mimic. So for example, we have like our cream cheese muffin, which is the one with the chocolate base. It's our signature over here. People really, really like it because it's super fluffy and then it doesn't taste like very, very cheesy. Then we also have other flavours that are made with the same cream cheese base, which I think that makes us quite unique also. La. I think my mom's mindset is very good. La. She's actually very open-minded in the sense that she allows us to really explore and do what we want to do, which is something that I'm really super, super grateful for. And my dad also, lah. my dad's also generally quite supportive. He isn't really uh, at the store operationally, but he's always the guy who does the logistics outside. I guess that's what made my journey super good so far.
Actually, family businesses, I would say everybody got their own set of problems. Uh. You are family, you tend to mix your personal lives together with work. Uh, sometimes, an uh, argument during work gets very personal. So usually, after an argument, right, we probably won't talk to each other for like a few hours or something like that. But, because work is work, you see each other every day, so you'll just have to keep talking to each other. But these are small little issues, uh. nothing big. Law. I think also, like, wait, because it, you are family, uh. you won't hold a grudge against them. You just have to talk to each other properly. Uh. Definitely got pros and cons, uh. but I think there are more pros than cons. When you work as a family, right, you will know that uh, you won't like party each other, that kind of thing. When we didn't have full-timers at that point of time, right, we were just uh, engaging uh, part-timers all the time. Okay, the part-timers can like last minute just tell you like, oh, sorry, I can't make it. But at least you have your family, so your family around you, you know. And luckily, uh, I have two siblings, so that makes three of us. <laughs> and then plus my mom and dad, so it's like five of us. Very, very assuring, you know, you know that uh, you can just run the entire service with them. Thankfully, I got like full-timers now, so that isn't an issue for us. So we always believe in taking care of everybody inside the team. I would say that for us, right, our staff welfare is very good. Lah. Sometimes we provide like breakfast, that kind of thing. We like everybody to be well-fed and uh, to work happily for each other, lah, that kind of thing. We also believe in really hard work. Lor. This business really came like a super, super long way. From like being always an empty cafe to being full house at times. Lah. But sometimes you must work not only hard, but you must work smart. Last time our production, uh, there was a lot of things that, that could have been done in a better way, in a faster way. First of all, we would like to uh, have our own central kitchen where we really do all the baking over there. Then maybe this place will just be converted into like a full-time cafe kind of thing. Then we don't have to share the small little pastry kitchen together with the hot kitchen and also the front of house. At least I get to have my own space and maybe I'll get my own team in the future. There's also another plan which is definitely like in Singapore we are known for like what bakwa. We are hoping that probably muffins are the things that tourists will think of to like buy back home to their country. Actually, most of our customers uh, tell us that they really like our packaging because they are wrapped in plastic. This plastic issue, maybe one day it has to go uh, because we will need to find something more sustainable and something more eco-friendly. Definitely expansion. Uh. Maybe we have a few other branches, but cafe, maybe not. <laughs> maybe more muffin stores and like uh, pastries and stuff.